Now on BBC One Scotland, the BBC News at 10 with Michelle Hussain and Reporting Scotland with Andrew Black. 10 million Ukrainians, a quarter of the population, have now been forced out of their homes by the war. Displaced by invasion, bombardment and fear, they include children from Mariupol, some of them badly injured. All of these are victims of Russian attacks. It's not just the physical injuries, though. Many of these children have deep psychological trauma that they will perhaps never get over. In Kiev, the effort to still bury the dead with dignity, including young men who left their jobs and signed up just as the war began. As Russia sets an early morning deadline for Mariupol to surrender, we'll have the latest. Also tonight, could fuel duty be cut as the Chancellor faces mounting calls to take more action on the cost of living? The Formula One season opens with Ferrari leading the way in Bahrain. And... The Cambridge's Caribbean tour begins in Belize. Good evening. Just over three weeks of Russian attacks, 10 million Ukrainians forced out of their homes. That's the figure the United Nations released today, amounting to a quarter of the country's entire population. Most of the displaced are still within Ukraine's borders, having left places like Mariupol. That's the southern city which has been under ferocious attack day after day. The civilians who have made it out of there have gone to cities like Zaporizhia, just to the northwest, and they've brought with them tales of survival and the narrowest of escapes. Some of them are children who are likely to carry lifelong scars from their experiences. Our correspondent, Wira Davis, sent this report on the injured children of Mariupol and those who are doing their best to care for them. <laughs> 